Cougar Nation, welcome back to another interview. Today, I'm in the beautiful presence of Waylon Alpawaho. <laughs> Try saying that ten times fast. <laughs> What's up, Waylon? How you doing so, today, bro? Uh, I'm pretty good. This evening, so it's about 7:39 now. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, tell you know, tell me a little about yourself, about who you are, where you're from. Um, Waylon Alpawaho. Middle name is Marcus. Since we were just talking that before we even started, <laughs> but uh, I come from a family of four. Both my parents were in my life. Um, I grew up a lot in West Valley and Harriman, Utah, and then I moved over to South Jordan uh, to go to Bingham for football. Um, I mean, yeah, just that. Well, so you said you got you got your youngest of four. Yep. And your four. Do uh, do your older siblings play any sports? Yeah, my oldest sister she just played softball. She didn't really play that much sports. She was more into school. Um, my older brother played a lot of football. He was, you know, playing football, rugby. We tried to play baseball in our family, but you know that didn't work out for me and my brother. <laughs> but yeah, um, and then my I had another sister. She played. Free, I mean, she played a lot of sports. She played uh, track, softball, volleyball, basketball. She's pretty athletic. Probably most athletic in high school, but you know that's me now. But <laughs> <laughs> um, and then yeah, and then I just played football, rugby, basketball. I mean, a lot of sports. Big sports up. guy. Yeah. Big sports guy, big sports guy. When did you start getting into sports? So just like integrated as you were growing up, or how yep. was that done? Yep, integrated. I always wanted to play football for sure. But yeah, growing up, I always had a, a baseball in my hand, football, whatever, whatever I could play. I like basketball too. Um, I started playing soccer first. You know, that's all. all yeah, kids I, I, mean, I started playing yeah, soccer. There's yeah. no shame in that. <laughs> you know, started with soccer first. Tried out baseball. Didn't really like it. You know, it was a little too slow paced for me as a little kid. But once I turned eight and was able to put on the pads and play football. Fell in love with it since then. Yeah, so you're, you're, I mean, you're an O-lineman for us. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're a big guy. Yeah. I'll just say, guy. you're a big yeah. guy. Have you always been a big guy? I mean, not really. I wasn't really that big when I was littler. I kind of hit a, a late growth spurt. Okay. I mean, growing up, I had I had a, a friend. His name was Jackson. And we played Little League with each other for, like, my, my whole Little League career. And he was always way bigger than me. And that's like I kind of judged that too, because then when I got to high school we were like the same height, and then now I'm bigger. Yeah. Which so yeah, I don't, you know I had a, a late growth spurt. It kind of happened in high school and still is happening now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So you started playing football when you were eight. Um, when did you decide that you know you love playing football and that like you wanted to you know dedicate your time to playing football? I think it was even before I started playing football. Just uh, being a, like a young kid being around football with. I mean, all my uncles played it, my dad was played it, even my older brother watching him play it. And then I had a lot of even older um, role models, too, that played it. Like, my uncles played at Utah State, both of them. And then even my other uncle that played here, that was a tackle, and I think 14 to 18. So, yeah, I, always, I just fell in love with it. Since then, I always knew I wanted to play at the next level. It's always motivation. And then, so you decide, you know, you want to be great, you want to be at the next level. Um, tell me about your process of getting there and your recruitment. Because you ended up at Utah State first yeah. before you got here. So how did you end up going to Utah State? Um, I wasn't, like, heavily recruited out of uh, Bingham. But I did, like, you know, I got a few looks here and there. Um, I was on Coach Funk's, like, you know, his little recruiting list. But I also wanted to go to college early and get that, you know, graduate early and start in January. But there wasn't like a spot over here at BYU, and then like Utah was also pretty full. So you know my next home hometown team was Utah State, and then yeah I just went in there with a you know a chip on my shoulder, wanting to go bigger. But you know Utah State was, I'm glad I went there. You know yeah. <laughs> well, you said, you had some uncles at Utah State, right? Yeah. So my uncle uh, Bo J. Finimuatu, he's uh, the defensive line coach for San Jose right now, and then my uncle Al Lapuaho. Um, Louis's older brother, and then yeah, he's the D line coach for Nevada right now too. So yeah, yeah. and so you Aggies finished you finished your uh, your recruiting, and so what year did you graduate high school? Twenty twenty two, just last year. Twenty twenty two. So you're you're a youngin still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. still. You're 19. a youngin. Yeah. Um, so then you you commit, you mm -hmm. graduate, and then you, you head over, you start fall camp. Yep. What is that kind of jump like for you going from? from high school to that first fall camp up at Utah State? Well, it was, so I went, I graduated early, so I went in January. Okay, okay. So yeah, I had the, the winter condition and all that. 
I mean, that, that kicked my butt for sure, you know, adjusting mm-hmm. to college life and like living by myself, make sure I eat my three meals a day and all that. And then, yeah, that first spring ball was definitely a, a check on the chin and, you know, realizing what the game is and the physicality and the speed too. Did you so have like I a welcome like a little, to college moment? Oh yeah, for sure. What was that like? Uh, I remember when I went against one of our D linemen up at Utah State. Uh, his name's Holly. He's from, I think he's from he's from Hawaii too. Okay. You might know him. And then yeah, he just just the speed and power moves he got. I was like, oh shoot. I mean, really, all the D linemen was giving me the work when I first came up there for sure. It was just you know, just the big bros, you know, getting the work in. Were you able to adjust to it? Yeah. Yeah, they, having that spring and those first spring practices was definitely like, you know, a big, some little baby steps, but I made my way and just, you know, kept getting after every day and just keep working. And then, yeah, going into fall camp was definitely a, a change and a change in who I am and who I was. Awesome. Well, that's going to go, it's going to take us out of our first segment. Uh, we'll go a little bit more into you being at Utah State and then ending up uh, moving to beauty in our second segment. So Cougar fans, be sure to stick around for that part two as well as our part three that we're going to have um, with Waylon. This is my guy right here. So be sure to stick around for those. There's going to be some good content, uh, some good conversations coming up. But thanks for watching part one. Just be sure to stick around. Uh, thank you for watching this interview. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss the other two parts of this interview. Plus, all of our other interviews we do with BYU athletes. We also like to give a special thanks to our Cougar Board insiders for making this possible.